fifth song has a two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. If a song has a two sharps, it would be in either D major, C, D, D major has a two sharp, or in B minor. B minor has a two sharps too. Now, let's find out what key the song is played in. If you want to know the keys of the song, you have to look at the left hand first. The very first measure has nothing, but the second measure has B and F sharp. With the right hand together, you can play the B minor. So it means the song starts in key of B minor. Let's check the last measure. In the last measure, left hand is D, and the right hand is F sharp, A, D. This is actually a D major chord, D, F, A, move this D down to this one. This ends in key of D. Say something is an unusual keys, play in two different keys. It starts with B minor to express sadness and despair, and ends with the D major to express hope. The composer probably wanted to put all the harsh feeling at the beginning, and then ends with relative major to still have some hope, longing to hear something from someone. So end with major. So far, we have to check the keys and mood of the song. If you know the mood and keys, it's easier to express the song. This time, let's check the time signature. If you look at the very beginning of the song, you will see 12 over 8. The 12 on top means that there are 12 beats in a measure, which is pretty long beats. The 8 underneath means that 8th note gets the beat. What is an 8th note? An 8th note is a quarter note with the tails after it. So, in a 4-4 four -four music, Eighth note gets a half count, but in this music, an eighth note gets one count and the quarter note gets two count. What about the dotted quarter note at the beginning? This note will get three counts. The count system is a little different from other songs. This is a rare kind of time signature, so the count will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Since it is very long beat, I will count by threes. Instead of counting everything 1 through 12, I will go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There will be four groups of three sub bits. It's much easier to count, so I will just keep on counting one, two, three, one, two, three. This time, we will check the left hand chords. Left hand, the first chord is B and F sharp with a dotted half note, which is a sixth count in the song. B and F sharp is an actually B minor chord with missing this B middle note. So B and F sharp, the missing D. The next chord is G and D, the same way, with the missing middle B. How do we know the middle note is missing B? If you're looking at the top right hand, right hand plays 
D and D. So D is the same note. You see it, the B? That's how we figured it out, the missing chord. What about the next one? D and A. Again, the missing middle one. Maybe F sharp or F. Anyway, this is D chord. The next chord is A and E. With missing C sharp. This one we know is C sharp, not the C. How come? The right hand has C sharp and D. So, say something is based on this four chords. B chord, G chord, D chord, and A chord. With this four chords, music is written. You have to first practice this four chords over and over again. Until you can find the chord easy. So keep practice. If I say B, it means this note. If I say G, that means that one. D, this one. A means that note. These four chords played over and over again throughout the song. Therefore, you should know the chord to play the song. For the last, we need to go over rhythms. There are many tight notes. Tight means connecting with the lines, little lines. Basically, you have to hold the tight note up to the note value. For example, if you're looking at the second line, first measure, very last note, is tied to the second measure, the very first note. I will just go over the right hand only, that part. The very first note for the very first measure on the second line is one, two, three. Three count, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and keep holding the next one, two, three. Do you know why it's a three count? I explained in previous rhythm. Eighth note is one count, therefore, dotted quarter note is a three count. So, so one, two, three, tied. So it's going to be one, two, three. You have to hold it. The next value. Also, I will go over most complex rhythm parts. It's going to be major 14th. So let's see. There is, I will go over from major 13th going through that line. Right hand only. One, ready, play, C sharp, E, two. The next one is three count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, tied. So you have to hold it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Quarter rest is a two count. So you're going to take a rest for two count. And then... One, two, three, one, two, three, e, because it's falling fast. Sixteenth note is half count in this time signature. So you have to fall on three, e, one, two, three, rest, the eighth note rest. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. That's how rhythm goes. I will go over one more time the same place, starting with the same note, C sharp. One, two, three. 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 Now, moving 
on to the next part, measure 17 and 18. There's another tied with the 16th note and 8th note combination. So I will go over measure 17, the same C, C sharp again. One, ready, play. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now the part. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, eighth note is one count. What about the next sixteenth note? That's a half count. The next note is eighth note again. So it goes one, two, three. One, two. One more time. One, two. You have to go right away. Why? The second note D is sixteenth note. So this is half count. The one, two. You see it? So it goes one, two, three. One, two, three. This is the most confusing part. In the next video, I'm going to play the song note by note. Before you move on to the next video, practice the chords and rhythm at least a couple of times. It will be much easier to play the song if you know and understand the theory we have just covered.